My name is Marsha John, and I am the supervisor, owner of the Stops Preschool and the care. A lot of people call me Auntie Marsha, because if you come into the area, you will ask for Auntie Marsha, and everybody will know exactly who is Auntie Marsha. Well, I'm here at the Stops Preschool and the care. September coming would be 32 years. Yes, 32 years. And uh, when you think about being at an organization for so long, you have to love what you're doing. And indeed, knowing Auntie Marsha, I love what I'm doing. I love children. I love taking care of children. Hence the reason why I am here for so long. And it's indeed, it's indeed, um, it's a good thing. Because loving what you do and loving children, you will understand the reason why I am here for so long. I came here in 1992. I was working under the Methodist Church. They were running the daycare. And a few years after that, they decided to stop. Some people migrated, some people passed away. And I said, no, I love this. So I went to UWE in Kingston to do the course under uh, Miss Millicent Iton and uh, Miss Judith Hall Bala. And I did very well. And hence the reason why I'm here to this present time, taking care of the nation's children. Yes. And it's nice when you out there and person would pass and you hear them saying, Auntie Marsha, she taught me at preschool. And when you look at these persons, they are adults. Yes, they are adults. And I often hear that when you take your children, you tend to grow with them. And it's a fact. Because if you look at me now, I am definitely aging gracefully with these children who I thought, hey. And it's really, it's really amazing when you, when you look at them and you see these children turn out to be people in society that you look up to. You know, some may not, some may not be there how you want them, but you know, when you look and you see you, you see doctors, you see nurses, you see farmers, you see all sorts of different occupation coming out here from the Stops Free School and, and they care. And I worked along well with my, 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 my staff, especially Donna. She, you know, I work along very well with her. She was here a year before me and she has 33 years and I have 32 years. And children are indeed God's creation. They are unique in their own way. When they come into your care, you have to know exactly how to deal with them. And by doing this, you have to learn them individually. Children learn at their own pace. Sometimes you may tend to think that, I wonder if these children are learning. Yes, they are learning. They learn through play. They learn through interaction with one another. They learn from what you are teaching them or what they are being taught by you. And uh, sometimes it's very nice when you can come in and they, the children come in and they see the entire school looking beautiful. You have to make sure, make your environment stimulating. So when the children walk through that door, they wouldn't want to leave. And sometimes when the parents bring them, they come and they register them. You see the children come in and they start running up and down and you hear parents saying, you know what, I'm leaving them. Because the area is stimulating the environment. They have different corners. We have science corner. We have math corner. We have language corner. We have all sorts of different corners. We have the weather corner, everything. And uh, to look at these children, especially when we have free play, and the dress up area. And these children putting on the different outfits. And some would say, I am Auntie Marsha. I am Auntie Donna. Some would say, I'm a police. I am a nurse. And we have all those in the, in the dress up corner. And children are very unique. And I would urge parents out there to send their children to a daycare. Because the children get to interact with other children. So it would be easier when they have the transition from the preschool to the primary school, it makes it easier for the child to go over to the primary school. And you will not get a child who will be crying for their mommy or their daddy or they don't want to go to school. But because they will be accustomed to the school setting, so it will be easier. At the Stubbs Preschool and the care, we do lots of things. 
we have a lot of field trips. We donate lots of things to the elderly, to different institutions out there. We have our day when we welcome anyone in the community to come in, like a visitor's day to come in and see the work of the children, the work that the teachers are doing. And we have times when we'll go out to the community, read stories to the elderly, go and visit the elderly, go and talk with persons in the community. So there's a lot of things that we do here. We have a playground to the back, a small playground to the back, where we take the children and they go on the swings and the slide, which help them with their gross motor development. We do lots and lots of things. We take them to the front. We have water day. We play hopscotch. We pong almond because these are things that children have never heard about and have never seen. Pounding of harmon. These are things that, you know, over in the past and children don't know anything about it. So we try to bring back all those things. We try to bring back pounding of almond, hopscotch, color play, color reading, um, water, water playing, water measurement. All these are things that we do here at the Stubbs Preschool. I am saying it, but you need to come and you need to come and you need to come and see what we are doing here. Because sometimes people have the thing as you send in your child to a preschool or they go there to play. No, it's not like that. Preschool setting are being structured. We have a daily schedule that we follow. And we, the daily schedule is posted right at the door so that when you come in, you will see exactly what we do throughout the day. We have lesson plans that we follow. We also have the curriculum guide that we use from the Ministry of Education. We do a lot, a lot of things. And our staff, we are very staff friendly. And our school is child friendly. So not just hear it from Auntie Marsha. Come in and see what we are doing right here at the Stubbs Preschool.